the oxidative phosphorylation, we come up with the question, what is P by O ratio? It's a very interesting concept. P by O ratio, it stands for how many ATP molecules are produced per electron pairs transferred. That is P by O ratio. How many ATP molecules are formed per pair of electrons are transferred. How to calculate this? It's very simple. So from all experiments, it has been proved that about uh, uh, 4 H plus are needed. Transportation of 4 H plus are needed in order to synthesize one ATP molecule. So this is experimentally proved. So now remember, you have to connect it with the rotation of the C subunits. So transferring four protons, you can imagine how, what, how much of the C subunit has to rotate in order to transfer four H plus ions. Go back to your lessons on electron transport chain. If you begin with an NADH, you know that in complex number one, NADH, in complex number one, so complex number one, there are four protons transported. Complex number two, nothing. Complex number three, complex number three will also transport another four protons. Complex number four will transport two protons. This is the case of an NADH molecule. Whereas in the case of an FAD molecule, remember FAD will enter only at the complex number two. So therefore, it will transfer four H plus at complex number three and two H plus at complex number four. So therefore, a total of six H plus. Whereas here, it is a total of 10H plus, 10H plus, okay, now come back to this, so therefore, therefore, so for 10H plus that is transferred by an NADH, 10H plus, for every 4H plus 1 ATP molecule, so divided by 4H plus, 10 by 4 is equal to 2.5 ATP molecules, you understand? how that 2.5 comes. Now for, therefore, for every FADH2, that is totally 6H plus divided by 4H plus, that is equal to 1.5 ATP molecules. Now you understand what is the logic of saying that 2.5 ATPs are made from uh, an NADH and 1.5 are made from an FADH2. So this is, what is known as P by O ratio. Now, what is the latest research showing is slight variation in this number, and that is an NADH will give 2.2 uh, ATPs, and FADH2 will give 1.2 ATP molecules. Still, there is time to implement that. At the moment, you stick to this. NADH will give 2.5 ATP and FADH2 will give 1.5 ATP molecules. This is known as P by or ratio. I'm sure you have enjoyed going through these sessions and keep subscribing this to, to this channel and you will enjoy a lot.